Once you've built your chatbot in Zapier, you're going to want to put it somewhere. You have a few options for how to share or embed this chatbot. Go up to the top right and you'll see the button share. When you go to share, you'll see that there is actually a public URL to this chatbot that anyone could go visit. It's sort of its standalone page just for this chatbot. But you may just want to embed it inside of an existing website or page or even as its own sort of chat widget on your website. There's a few things you can do. One, you can just disable that public URL so no one's gonna accidentally just show up at the chatbot standalone page. When you do that, then you can go to embed. You can either click embed here or on the interface here, click embed in the top right. And there's a couple ways you can embed. You can embed it into a web page or as a pop-up, like a widget at the bottom right of the page. Both options are available using a script. And for the standard embed, you also have the option for an iframe. You can choose to restrict the domains if you'd like. And then once you copy that code and put it into your web page, then it will show up there. Here's how Learn It Live, an education company, has actually done this and embedded the pop up version onto their website. So you'll see in the bottom right here a button. When I click that, a chatbot is rendered there and someone could ask a question. Now, if you have built with Zapier interfaces, maybe a client portal or a web form or something like that, you can also add a chatbot directly as a component into that interface. And that's how you can share what you've built with Zapier chatbots.